This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Antiphon, like newborn infants, you must long for the pure spiritual milk that in him you may grow in salvation. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts, in my words, in what I have I done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Many signs and wonders were done among the people at the hands of the apostles. They were all together in Solomon's portico None of the others dared to join them, but the people esteemed them. Yet more than ever, believers in the Lord, great numbers of men and women were added to them. Thus they even carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, so that when Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on one or the other. A large number of people from the towns of the vicinity of Jerusalem also gathered, bringing the sick and those disturbed by unclean spirits, and they were also cured. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The response of Psalm is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, your brother, who share with you the distress, the kingdom, and the endurance we have in Jesus, found myself on the island called Patmos because I proclaimed God's word and gave testimony to Jesus. I was caught up in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a voice as loud as a trumpet, which said, write on a scroll what you see. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. In the midst of the lampstands was one like a son of man wearing an ankle length robe with a gold sash around his chest. When I caught sight of him, I fell down at his feet as though dead. He touched me with his right hand and said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I am alive forever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. Write down, therefore, what you have seen and what is happening and what will happen afterwards. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the evening of that first week of the, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, 
peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that were not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today's Gospel story about the doubts of Thomas has two important messages for us. One point that it makes is that seeing is not identical to faith. Many people saw Jesus during his lifetime but did not believe in him. Many saw his miracles, such as the multiplication of the loaves, and yet failed to understand them. This should show us that faith should be for us an assurance that the risen Lord is with us in different forms. Through the eyes of faith, we are called to see Christ in the signs and the gestures of the church, in the word proclaimed in the scriptures, and in the people and the events around us. The second point made by Thomas's story is the fact that Thomas encourages us to think, to probe, and to question. Thomas wanted a faith that was real and sensible to him. And so too must our faith be real and sensible to us to a degree. If it is not, Thomas shows us that we have the right and the duty to directly and vocally question it. To just sit back and nod our heads in agreement to matters that affect our faith life would be untimistic and indeed un-Jesus-like. Most importantly, Thomas shows us that a healthy doubt can indeed lead to a deeper faith and through that faith to contact with the risen Christ. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for, for us men and for, and for our, our salvation, salvation he, he came, came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and became man. man. For, for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ is risen, and so we confidently bring our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters before the Lord. <coughs> For the church, that we may be transformed through our encounters with the living Christ and be instruments of healing and forgiveness for those who are hurting, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deepening of our faith, that we may grow in our awareness that death has been overcome and that in Christ we shall live forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in all the troubled areas of the world, particularly in Ukraine and Russia, that Christ's victory over death may bring an end to the war, genocide, and humane treatment of people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homebound, that they may know God's healing presence and entrust themselves and their caregivers to God's loving care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, that through our sharing of the body and blood of Christ, we may be more fully become the body of Christ and give faithful witness until Christ comes again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray this Mass, let us remember Mary Ann Pavelko. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and merciful God, you raised up your son from the dead, opening the way to new life for your children. Hear the prayers of your children today as we celebrate with joy and thanksgiving the never-ending wonders you bestow through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. <laughs> By the mystery of the sword of mine, have we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my inequities, cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may obtain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial lamb who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, blessed James the Barioni, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. In the memory of the body and blood of the Lord, just rest with eternal life, thus rest you. Lord Jesus Christ, the faith and mercy, eat your body and drink your blood, health your mind and body. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Health and mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy it should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. body of Christ. Amen. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your reception of this Paschal Sacrament, that we may have continual effect in our lives and minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The message then, go in peace, alleluia, alleluia.